Kansas State heads to West Virginia this weekend. And this spread is only 7.5. West Virginia, a 7.5 point dog. Of course, things not looking great for Neil Brown there. The total is 54.5, 2 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. All right, so let's let's discuss uh, what is actually happening as far as trends. Uh, Shane Lyons, of course, was fired last week. He was just about the only barrier between uh, the people with the money that would like to have Neil Brown out and uh, and Neil Brown himself. It, you gotta you gotta win some of these games. I don't know that they're going to be able to do this. However, you look at the trends. Kansas State is one and four against the spread in the last five against West Virginia. Um, the under, by the way, eight and two in the last 10 meetings, but that's certainly a, a Chris Kleiman and Bill Snyder thing. Uh, and, of course, West Virginia had those high-flying offenses. That, that explains that trend quite a bit. The Wildcats are 4-0 and oh against the spread. Their last four against a team with a losing record. They are 5-1 and one against the spread versus a team with a losing record overall. Uh, they're 7-3-1 and one against the spread in their last 11. I mean, this is Kansas State just covers numbers. They just do. Uh, you look at West Virginia, though. Mountaineers, 1-5 and five against the spread in their last six after a spread win. They are 12-4-1 against the spread in their last 17 home games, though. So, of course, they got that win over Oklahoma that was very much unexpected. Um, but you that win over Oklahoma, like, does it make you feel a little bit better? Like, the Mountaineers are 1-5 and five against the spread their last six following a straight-up win as well as a spread win. So, uh, not great. Uh Another trend here, Mountaineers 4-1 and one against the spread against a team with a winning record. And this line smells fluky. Uh, it's, it, something's fishy about this because it shouldn't be this low. Uh, and, of course, you've got the hook there as well. So, of course, everybody's thinking, eh, you know, maybe maybe I need to bet West Virginia here. My number, based on the last five weeks, uh, is Kansas State minus 16.71. I mean, more than two touchdowns. I think that they can manhandle West Virginia's defense. Um, you look at the the rush rate and the pass rate over the past five weeks, and Kansas State is not running the ball all that much. Uh, Deuce Vaughn is being used a little more, like I guess, in the passing game. Uh, you look at their passing explosiveness; it's number eight in the country. Their PPA per pass is number three. Passing success rate is number four, and they are throwing the ball more than fifty percent of the time, fifty one and a half percent of the time. Like that's their pass rate right now. You look at that West Virginia defense, number 93 in rushing success rate allowed. They are number 90 in passing success rate allowed. That defense is not good. So long as you do not beat yourself, I have a feeling that Kansas State will be able to maul them in the trenches. Uh, you look at uh, uh, stuff rate, that's that's where it gets a little tricky for me because West Virginia is number 64 on defense and Kansas State is number 103 over the past five weeks. So that offensive line hasn't been great, but I think this is kind of a get-right spot for Kansas State. Uh, they have to have this. It looks like they're in the driver's seat to be the other participant in the Big 12 title game. I I look at West Virginia's offense, and, of course, the, the new quarterback that came in last week, um, and his name escapes me right now, but regardless, he provided a little bit of life and changed up how that offense plays. I think now that there is film on him, I think Kansas State will be able to uh, devise a game plan to be able to get a stop here. I I like Kansas State. I'm going to take the Wildcats here uh, to be able to get the cover because, I mean, the numbers just say that they're going to be able to put up a bunch of points, I think. And I don't know that West Virginia can. And so that is the way that I'm looking at this one. Give me Kansas State minus a seven and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>